I'm here with the one and only Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 2 Secret of the Ooze actor Nick Palma. Oh, very nice to meet you. Pleasure to be here. Well, it's, it's my pleasure to be with you here. Um, tell me about your career. Well, what can I say? I played Mikey on the second movie. I actually did fight Mikey. Uh, there's an actor that's Michelin Sisti, but uh, I had a great time on that film. Very exciting to do flips, martial arts, the yo-yo uh, for the character Michelangelo. That's great. Yeah. Now, obviously, you're well versed in martial arts and the nunchaku. Tell us about your martial arts background. Okay, well, at the age of 13, that's 1973, you guys can do the math, but the next day I actually went to see Enter the Dragon. The next day after that though, the next week, I was in a martial arts school. So I've been in the martial arts about 40 years. I was stationed in Korea, I took up Taekwondo there, but I started off with Choi Lei Foot, Kung Fu. I've done a lot of different things. I, I boxed, I won some golden gloves, I wrestled, I did gymnastics, but it all prepared me to be in this suit with that orange helmet. So tell our viewers, how did you get started and cast for the role of Mikey for the second movie? Well, the way I did that is at the age 1989, I decided to move from San Francisco to uh, LA to pursue my, you know, my childhood dream. Um, and basically I was at Black Belt Magazine for another prominent martial artist. His name is Eric Lee, the little king of katas from the 1970s. Um, anyway, we're at, at the offices of Black Belt Magazine. He told them there that I was down there to look for work in the stunt world. Uh, the next thing I knew is that, they, they, that I was auditioning for the Turtle movie. At the end of that whole week, I was on a flight to England to get fitted for Michelangelo. For that, the movie. That's how fast it happened. That's amazing. Um, tell us, when it comes to being directed for a role such as this one, What's that like? Is it exhausting? Long hours of makeup, I know. Uh, but how about the choreography? How, how, what's the preparation leading up to the day of the shoot? Well, that's interesting, yeah. Actually, there was no makeup involved with me. There was just all in the suit. <laughs> so, so basically, I just had to put it on. But we actually, you usually have on that type of shoot, you have a two, for any shoot, it's about four weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, four, uh, two months or eight weeks. But on that particular one, we, had to, we did it in, uh, it was three months because we took an extra month to choreograph everything and the things that we couldn't do the stunt coordinator the fight coordinator who was pat johnson um he uh he he basically would you know have us do what we were trained to do if we couldn't do it we did something else but but it all worked together because it was all team effort i'm just, and i just wanted to say thank you to uh my the guy who brought me up to Zapcon, and his name is Pete Salazar. Um, I'm Pete Salazar with Die Hard's Music, mm -hmm. and uh, we're a vendor with Zapcon. We help co-promote in any way we could with the event. Um, what I look at is that it's bringing something great and unique and different to the community. Um, it's really awesome to see Fresno put on their own version of a, of, in a sense, of a Comic Con, and I think that it's um, it's bringing a lot of value to the city for a lot of people who are into cosplay, who are into pop culture, it's just, it's awesome stuff for Fresno to finally have its own. And this second year, as you, were you guys here last year? No, this is our first year. Last year, as compared to this year, you could definitely see the growth and progress they have made in such a short amount of time. Uh, all the, uh, the board members in ZapCon are doing an awesome job organizing the event, and they're doing a great job. It's like doubled compared to what it was last year. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it brings the community a lot of value. It's an awesome thing. Well, that's great. I'm really glad you guys are doing this. It's a great atmosphere here. We got a lot of great guests, VIP guests such as yourself, and uh, we're very glad to have you here. Thank you. Any final shout outs to your fans or just to the people out in the community in general? You know, Fresno is a great city and it's awesome to see them come out and support. And I'm glad to be here, by the way, in Fresno. So come out and see me. I'll be here all day today. Tomorrow, just for the people of Fresno, Cowabunga! <laughs>
You're going to love it. You can get one right now at ZapCon. $15. I'll sign it for you. We'll take some pictures with Mikey, the photo op. Come on down for some barbecue sauce at ZapCon. And it goes great with pizza, too.